We're really delighted to have acquired the archive of the artist Alan Clark. Alan is the illustrator for that cultural icon created by Paul Howard, Ross O'Carroll Kelly. The archive contains illustrations from books, from the newspaper, cover art, and really captures the creative process of a figure that I think we all recognise across all of Irish life. The illustrations are a really important um, capture of contemporary Irish life and we're really proud to add them to the National Collections. We were also really delighted that Alan agreed to do a commission for us to accompany the archive. We wanted to see Ross O'Carroll Kelly in the reading room. Everybody is welcome here, even Ross. It's important to the National Library to support the cultural and art sector. It's been a very difficult year for artists, for their lives, their livelihoods. And we want to highlight how the National Library adds artistic works to the National Collections, how we commission work, and how the National Collections are a source of inspiration for arts and culture across the country and across the world. Um, I'm absolutely delighted that Alan Clark's archive is now being housed in, in the National Library. His um, work conjures up world, a world that is darkly uh, comic but magical um, and all is beautifully executed. There is a, a wow factor to, to Alan Clark's um, illustrations and this archive will be a wonderful uh, addition to the collections already housed in, in the National Library. Um, this acquisition will, will mean that, that Ross and his family, as envisaged by, by Alan Clark uh, will join the permanent collections of the library, truly reflecting their unique uh, place in Irish popular culture today. And um, finally, I'd like to take um, this opportunity to, to thank Alan Clark uh, for ensuring that this co collection um, will now reside in our National Library. I've been drawing Ross for um, 20 years nearly now. Um, and Oh, as time passed, I realised that the, the collection of work that I was producing had, was growing and growing and growing uh, and becoming quite significant and quite, a, I suppose, a, like a, an impressive collection when it was seen all together. Um, so a couple of years ago, I approached the National Library to see if they might want to uh, acquire the work, you know, and archive it and look after it properly. And, uh, um, and they did, which is great. So, um, well, I suppose on a personal level, I'm absolutely delighted. Um, it's, it's, I suppose, a, a validation that, that the work would be deemed to be of high enough quality, you know, that it might be uh, become part of the National Collection. And I suppose it's a, it's a sign of how Ross has just become a kind of a fixture in, in the sort of uh, public consciousness, I suppose, if you like, um, uh, that the, that he, he's becoming a part of the, of the national record, like, you know, it's great, it's really good. I think anything that strokes Ross's ego, he would be very, very pleased with indeed. So I, I think he would be uh, over the moon about this, this acquisition, I think. <laughs>